The other day, a code review by the Cherno caught my attention. So the code's author was a self-taught programmer who asked him to roast his code. And a roasting certainly happened. Oh, and by the way, I fully intend to. Actually, he roasted the build system because it took so long to build the project that there was no time left over to look at the actual code. So things started badly with the project's main readme having zero instructions on how to build code. It doesn't tell you how to build the code. Instead, those instructions came via email and they were pretty horrendous. I hate it. I have to run six scripts to get this to build. PowerShell scripts at that. So you've got Windows PowerShell scripts wrapping CMake and you've got to call multiple scripts in the right order. Ugh. I hate it. The first big question for me was why? Why would you do that? Why bolt platform specific shell scripts on top of CMake? What on earth is going on? So the developer's explanation was he wanted the build system to automatically download all the dependencies, which is certainly a great goal. This I like. But as pointed out in the code review video, CMake can already do that for you. It's built in. CMake is capable of downloading, retrieving dependencies all by itself. I have a video explaining exactly how to do that. Looking at his code, he did actually use CMake to fetch the external dependencies, which make the PowerShell scripts even more baffling. However, he did so in a horrendously complicated manner. So I'll leave a link in the description below to a video I recorded showing you how to do it the right way. So what I think happened was this. The code's author says he's a self-taught programmer. So he probably scoured the internet for free tutorials and examples and went through them and tried to piece together how to write code from that. That's, learning that way is a slow and perilous path because while there are good tutorials out there, really good ones that are free, they're all surrounded by a ton of crap. And not only are, is finding the good ones hard, Differentiating, knowing the difference between a good one and a bad one is also hard. You can't, it's, it's not obvious. Right? So the chances are high that you never learn how to use the tools properly, you never learn how to code properly, and you end up building crazy Frankensteinian code that's fragile but ugly and hard to maintain. This is exactly why I wrote the CMake tutorial because I've also had to figure things out on my own and I've seen far too much ugly code and horrible build systems. And I absolutely hate working with nightmarishly complicated build systems that are both fragile and require a lot of manual setup. So I've learned what works best. I've taken the time to research it and put together a resource that will teach you how to get it right. That way we can all write great build systems that work out of the box so that we can then focus on writing great code and getting better at our craft. It's the book I wish I'd had when I was learning CMake. But Hans, the CMake tutorial isn't free. Nothing in life is truly free. When learning a new skill, you can either pay with money to learn from someone who knows their stuff, or you can pay with your time and sanity by scouring the internet on your own. I've done both and I've learned that time is a lot more valuable than money. I can earn more money, but I can never get back a single second of my life. But Hans, who are you to teach me? Oh, just someone with a PhD and decades of experience writing software. That does not make me the world's top CMake expert, but I've, I've learned a lot over that time. And I know more than enough to help people who are where I was years ago. But you know what, you don't have to learn from me either because there are plenty of others who could teach you. So if you don't like me or my style doesn't suit you, you can go pick someone else. It certainly beats scouring the internet and wading through tons of crap. But what if I buy a course and it turns out to be utter garbage? Yeah, I've been there, done that, it happens. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars on university education and since then, tens of thousands more. And some of the courses have been great. Others were rather poor, including some university lecturers and others just didn't suit me. But you know what? The, one, the courses that were great far outweigh, the benefit from them far outweigh the cost of the duds. Besides, you can always take advantage of their money back guarantee if the course turns out to be bad. 
Okay? We've got one, as do most businesses. Every purchase or action comes with a certain level of risk. Even doing nothing comes with risk. Risk is part of life, and who dares wins. So if you want to avoid making build system mistakes like the one on the code review, then go get the CMake tutorial. Link is down below in the description. Or if you want to see some high quality free content first, then check out some of my other videos, the next one of which should appear up here.